Now look, another temporal artery. What's going on here? Yeah, here. And I didn't see any inflammation in these, so I think this was just a, an example of normal. Well, it is, I, I agree, it's no no, um, no giant cell arteritis, but there is one finding that I guess you could argue is normal because it's very common, but it's is not, te not probably going to be seen like in your temporal artery, but it might be in someone else. What's going on with all this and this here? Is this just some cholesterol? deposits so this is calcification it's a little hard to tell here because it's not quite the same purple but it's like fragments of cal okay. of calcium so there's calcium deposits multifocal and when we look around you can see it's actually everywhere it's all these uh crumbled and kind of breaking up calcium deposits in the vessel wall kind of located right along the media i'm sorry the uh, elastic lamina which is interesting and um and i've seen this before uh, in the temporal artery, particularly right along the, it's like the, almost the elastic lamina is getting calcified. So there's kind of two different things you could think of in this setting. One, you could wonder, is this calcification associated with atherosclerosis? Okay, so in atherosclerosis, where the cholesterol and the atheroma plaque builds up is in the intima of the vessel. So here the intima is thickened again. I, to me, this is thicker than I would say a normal vessel. So probably this is an older person with hypertension, but I don't see any deposits of like lipid filled histiocytes or cholesterol crystals, those long clefts. I don't see those in the middle here to make me think of a plaque. And I feel like most of the calcs here are in the, the elastic lamina or on the other side of it, even into the medial layer. So when I see calcification in the media of a vessel, a big, a big thick muscular artery, there's a name for that. It's called Monkeyberg's arterial calcific stenosis or medial calcific stenosis. And it's a relatively common finding that is either associated with degenerative changes of old age and or hypertension, we think. Um, that, that is, but we see it in vessels a lot and is uh, calcification in the vessel wall that's not necessarily associated with atherosclerosis, but it's just kind of a degenerative calcification that happens in older people. And it's important, I think, for dermatologists to know about um, because we, in pathology, we see this regularly calcifications in the media and we get used to kind of ignoring it. So it's important for dermatologists to know about Monkeyberg's calcific stenosis because you don't want to confuse this with calciphylaxis. This is basically an incidental finding that is of no, I mean, it, it is a pathologic finding, but it's, they don't need to do anything about it. This person already has had hypertension for a long time, probably, and is probably being treated for it. So I will mention it uh, sometimes, depends on the setting, but this is just an incidental finding that is not in, important, whereas calciphylaxis obviously is urgent, you know, really serious thing with high mortality. So I think uh, pathologists need to get more training in calciphylaxis because we get used to seeing calcs and vessel walls that don't mean anything. And then calciphylaxis, it's actually really serious. And I think derms need to be aware of monkeybergs to know that, yes, sometimes calcs are not calciphylaxis and are totally fine. So the biggest thing always for calciphylaxis, the clinical situation has to fit with calciphylaxis to make that diagnosis. So this is a pretty nice, good example of that, that calcific uh, change in the media of a muscular artery. And in this case, it's the temporal artery.